Hello there and welcome back to another episode in Season 5. So I think we've spent quite a few episodes already looking at our Scrap City and trying to build this up. So we will do something different today. I mean, yes we will visit this for a couple of reasons, but I think I'd like this episode's focus or the main focus to be building up the city on top of the mountain. So I have at least a rough sketch on how we want to do things. At the bottom level we are going to have a few warehouses, but also one of those large ones in here. Not really sure what it will hold, maybe potatoes or something else. It might change, but anyways. Yeah, so I kind of want to keep the theme of having uh, plenty full of rooftop terraces along the canal. So that kind of gives the vibe of having like restaurants by the riverfront. And here as well it seems the spacing is pretty perfect for us, so we can do a couple more. And we'll do the fifth one in on top of that medium warehouse over here. But we can't build it just yet because we do want to climb on top of those houses and start building some roofs as well. Okay, now whilst the beavers are constructing all of this in here, there are only 2.8 days left until the rainy season starts. So I've also rearranged this or expanded this zone a little bit. I was thinking to add a few more gear workshops because the yeah gears are going pretty slow but right now I think we are gonna need a lot more planks so yes we have replaced them with lumber mills instead okay a couple of them are already online which is great and now we've greened up oh yeah this is something I did real quick as well I just wanted to see how far the water or the green would expand and yeah, so we're just planting some trees over here and letting our resource stockpiles grow. I mean, planks seem to be fluctuating quite a bit. And we do need a few more beavers as well. So why don't we unpause another breeding pod? What we can also do is let's start removing some of those power wheels by placing another engine right over here. Okay, so right now you do have access. Oh, the floor on this one looks a little bit different. Not sure if that's a bug or it's meant to be, but it's it's alright. Okay, so all you're going to need now is a few roads just like so. There we go, I think we have enough gears right now. Oh yes we do. Uh, currently we are providing, okay so it's just about enough, but we are about to build a couple more lumber mills. So I think, yeah, we're going to need another engine... Well, technically we don't, because once this one comes online, I think we will be fine. Yep, let's do it this way for now. It seems... Oh, okay. Right, right, right. So maybe keep you paused for a second. I think we do have to, yeah, rearrange this a little bit. Okay, so you can still walk here and gather all the resources, which is good. Uh, we'll speed up the time as well because it's night time. Let's do one of those power shafts, a T junction, and the straight power shafts. Okay, you should probably take the highest priority because right now we are a little disconnected, it seems. Okay, so the beavers can construct it up very quickly. Now, another thing I would like to complete is we do have the resources already in, which is great. Yeah, quite a few gears is what they take. And let's do the first one and start making some 3 dead planks already. Okay, cool. So first one is done. We do have our tapper shack online here as well. And we got plenty of pine resin here. Okay, there we go. Power lines are done. So that means we can unpause the engine again. All right, keep it going. All right, we got the resources, so that's good. Let's take a quick look at the top of the hill as well. How are things going over here? Have you constructed anything? Oh, I think they have done the small ones. Oh no, we already had them before. Never mind. Uh, what about you? Small warehouse, but you are not built yet, so that's fine. Okay, so there we go. The third engine is now operational. And it seems we still... Yeah, we're just barely breaking even right now. Well, not to worry, we have another platform that is... Uh, wait a second... That's not what we want to, or how we want to do it. So we do have an industrial pile here, and I was thinking, yeah, we probably need, or could do, another one right about here as well, just to be a bit more efficient. 
Okay, this one could even hold, I guess, a few metal blocks as well. So that is the closest. Um, <laughs> unless we build a few over here, of course. I think we have enough storage for the logs right now. So why don't we change you over and hopefully you can get rid of the last scrap metal pieces as well. All right, so you are complaining over here. Is there no more scrap left? Uh, wait a second, there's some in here, but it kind of looks nice in that corner. I guess we can pause you for now. And then we'll figure out where else can we get that scrap from. Oh yeah, there we go. There was another thing I planned in, but I totally forgot about. Right, so we were running pretty low on the scrap metal, so I decided to change the access a little bit. And uh, give them a direct route onto the the middle, I guess a, like a cliff over here, or a mountain. Okay, and we do want to reconnect. So we are going to have to do it this way instead. Okay, how important is this link over here? Well, slightly, because we don't have access to this water pump right now. Okay, so let's increase that as well. There we go, still have nine workplaces. Three of them are here, and they are the inventor huts. So that is probably okay. How much science do we have as well? Okay, another 70 until we can unlock the efficient mine. So that is also very lovely. Now in these buildings, let's take a look at what are our storages like. Berries pretty low, carrots we have a little bit. Yeah, I guess one of the small ones could be carrots actually. What about other stuff? 1400. Uh, maybe this one goes for sunflower seeds as well. Okay, there we go. Now, do we not have access to these couple of trees over here? I do want to take them out so we can place another medium uh, warehouse there. That's going to help us. Okay, there we go. Finally. This one probably needs to be done next and let's take a look now. Uh, medium warehouse shall go just like so over there and I don't think anyone's gonna get stuck either no we should be fine that means we can connect up the the roads let's do it this way for now okay where are you all running okay so this one's being built that's good um, <laughs> we'll do this one first right and then we have to sever the link again to build a another we have the gears right and blanks okay so resource wise we are starting to improve or stabilize a little bit so that's very lovely all right there we go so we've got the houses in place now i think we're just missing one okay never mind that's uh, already sorted as well they are complaining about not being connected mm, yeah they aren't Okay, so let's fix you up as well. There we go. Here's another road. Um, <laughs> let's see this warehouse here. I think there's a couple of things we'd like to give a slightly higher priority. Okay, let's get all of this done. So that way the housing estate is... Or would be almost complete. Right, this one as well. Let's do sunflower seeds. And the big one. Okay, we are going to have to choose something. So... I guess Spadatok is a little bit more difficult to fill up okay let's do this one for now we'll change you to obtain and we do have 28 spare beds which means we can probably pause a couple more okay let's have a look how is this gonna go 18 and i think we can do at least one more all right there we go so this rainy season seems to be a very very short one yeah, the drought is almost here again. Okay, let's have a look how is stuff going here as well. Pretty, pretty good. So why don't we build yet another engine just like so. Alright, we are going to have to sever this link unfortunately as well. There we go, and the highest priority. Now another thing that seems to be interesting, I'm pretty sure the why a lot of people used to not like the engines before was because they would run 24 7 but it seems with one of the previous updates they actually pause when there's no beaver inside the engine or at least during non-work hours 
Okay, well, that's interesting. Or maybe it was just a glitch, but uh, I did check. The, the logs were definitely in here. Okay, well, if that's how it is now, that's good. Um, right, right, right. Another warehouse. What shall we stock in here? Uh, there's nothing else we can do, is it? I guess the next thing we can probably do is maple pastries. Let's take a look. You are complaining here. Oh, it's the access, isn't it? Right, and I do want to change you around as well. Okay, you are not connected. That's okay. What's below it? Oh, there's another ladder. Okay. Uh, let's place you... Let's place you like so. Okay. Oh, wow. The uh, seats or the benches do look a little bit different now as well. I love it how it's kind of has this blue tint on it. And it really blends in with the in industrial pile as well. Okay, so I think we forgot one road. There we go. And you've got the highest of priorities, so that's good as well. Uh, yeah, the reason why we're changing this over real quick is I want to make it a bit more direct route here. And hopefully have a few more trees growing as well. Okay, you are still working down there, which is not very, not very good. Yeah, why don't you jump into... Oh, never mind, he's already jumped somewhere else anyways. Okay, so another engine is online. And it seems we do have enough power now. Okay, how about we do... Oh, you're full already. Okay. Can we put three planks in this one? Yes, we can. Alright, that's perfect, because we can do one right over here, and with the highest priority as well. Okay, cool. So we do have the 4,000 science that we were waiting for, which means we can unlock the efficient mine. Oh, wow. Yeah, 300 3 planks, that's going to take a while. Gears is another painful one, but we do need you online. Yep. That's going to take quite a quite a long time. Now, how much power is going through here? 200 and... Well, let's call it 200 because it fluctuates quite a bit as well. I guess the batteries would be the next priority, but you take a lot of gears as well. I think right now I just want to have the efficient mine up and running. And once that is complete, or once we have the gears in here at least... That's when we can start opening a few more gravity batteries as well. Alright, so some of the roofs are already in place. So let's try and complete this as well with a, with a few more. Oh, we are going to have to climb up from the opposite side as well. It appears. Okay, not a problem. Let's do a few stairs and one platform. Okay, there we go. You are now done. Which means if you go into decoration again, another roof over here. Okay, we are nearly done indeed. So well-being is still 13 only, but we do have a plan for it. So as soon as these buildings start going, I think we're going to place the farms... Mm, no. The central area here is not very fertile. However, what we could do is one of those water dumps in the middle. Yeah, to make sure it is going to be nice and green. With all the other buildings, I think it might be time to start emptying you as well. So let's empty the warehouses first. Alright, not accepting, empty, and empty this one. It's going to take a bit of time, but sooner than later it's going to be done, just like with these uh, industrial piles over here. Okay, what's uh, below? Quite a few blanks, logs. Do you want to move them out? Uh, okay, one thing we can pause here is we can stop the production of all the blanks. I think we have enough now. And there's also enough buildings over here. There's two, four, six, and seven. I think one of you could become gears instead. Okay, let's place you here. And I think you have the lowest priority right now. So, so we will change that as well. All right, there we go. The drought has started and that's a pretty long one. 20 days on the clock, it seems. I don't think it's the first uh first long trout that we've had but uh yeah it's definitely pretty pretty long okay now with this area over here because we do want to free up the space that's below right now i was thinking for the time being because the area is not used for anything else why don't we have like a few campfires here how many can we do well, we placed you like 
like so, then we could do more. Uh, but that locks us in. But it would be useful to have a few campfires. That's for sure. Okay, what are our options? I guess we could... Hmm. If we left the stairs over here, that would have been perfect. Alright, I guess for now... Okay, yeah, let's do it. We will bring the stairs back. Or the ladders. And we are also going to need rows to cross over. And I think we might just jump over somewhere here. And the stairs go over the power wires as well. I've used the decoration ones just to hide the power wires a little bit. Alright, and there we go. We do almost have access to our final campfire as well. But that shall be done very quickly. Now over here we have fixed up the link between our water pumping station and our mountaintop district. It seems the numbers are dropping pretty pretty quickly. So it might be might be time to do a couple more over here. Okay, so that's one and the second one as well. I do want to check how many can we do in total because we might want to move over a little bit. Right, so one goes here. And this one, all right. Three more platforms and there we go. So one, two, three, four. But I think on this side, it might be able to bump out some more water because the, the area is a little bit lower. All right, one goes here. Hmm, yeah, these ones are not very good, it seems. Might want to spin you, actually. Now, at the time of recording this video, episode two has just released and I've seen your comments about our no dynamite challenge as well and and yeah I do think that maybe maybe we do make an exception because there was a very very good mention by someone that um, about the R&D faction because especially with the pumps as well they go six levels down so it would be a shame to not take advantage of that so yeah let's see we might still use dynamites in the in the river sections that were already already in here or especially where we are pumping water out all right so quick update on the efficient mine as well we got 44 treated planks out of 300 162 gears out of 450 yeah that's gonna take quite a quite a bit of time same with treated planks how many do you produce per hour uh, let's have a look so every three hours we get one Oh wow, okay, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit longer, someone is complaining again, you have nothing to do, so maybe, okay, if we place another set of stairs here, maybe that's gonna fix it, and same up here as well, is this one stuck in a, oh it is, so there's, oh no, you have to be on the same level to harvest the resource, isn't it, so we might just have to leave it or remove it in the future if it's in the way, same with you. It seems you are one level one level lower. Well, that's a bit of a shame, but oh well. I guess it is what it is. Now we can take another 15 from here and 30 from that one. Okay. Now, other than that, I think our progress is is quite decent. So, right now, since we have paused or removed quite a few industrial log piles, we are going to need a bit more storage over here well we do have to remove those engines eventually unfortunately yep because it would be nice to store some logs underneath but for now since we are pretty low on the gears everything's going into the efficient mine i guess we are gonna have to leave it for a little bit later all right so the next thing we do want to do we do have a bit of space in here so we did say it at the start let's place uh one of those rooftop terraces Okay, that's going to go there just like so. Uh, we can't construct you just yet because we do have another roof piece to complete. And there's a bit of rubble here as well that we do want to remove eventually. Now with this side over here, I was thinking we can continue and place another large warehouse. Yes, we definitely would like to do so. So... We are going to have to change our access a little bit. Okay, so if we continue along this river, there is enough space if we remove those side platforms. But uh, let's let them complete their roof base over here first. And then 
We might have to change the access just a tiny bit as well. Okay, so I guess somewhere here we can do... Oh no, that's not the one. I think we are going to cross over here and then climb down. Hmm, or maybe we just lose the access, yeah. Might be a little bit easier. Where's all of our construction beavers? You do have the highest priority, but no one's coming over to construct this. Okay, so why don't we skip ahead just a little bit. We're going to have the roofs in place. And then I'll show you what we want to do over here as well. Okay, so there we go. The new development is almost done. I think they have actually, yeah, they managed to complete everything in here. Uh, let's have a look inside as well. All right, yep, that's, uh, that is done indeed. So what I really like about this little housing complex over here is, is how we are going to connect the, the power through. So it kind of looks like, yeah, there's some wires running overhead uh, just above the campfire and uh, makes it look somewhat more realistic. Now, what I'm not entirely sure of, we do have to place um, one more platform over here and let's resume the efficient mine as well. Right, so what I'm not sure about is do we want to like cover this up or leave it open? I mean, we could do a few roof bits over here that could look pretty cool. But right now we're using this for a bit of access so we can decorate the rest of the houses as well. So we do need one over here and one on top of you. But climbing over is going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm sure we will figure something out. Yeah, I guess we could go up from here. Let's try and finish this as quick as we can. Okay, is this the right way? Yes, it is. Oh, right. Okay, so maybe we do need... Hmm. Let's have a look. Okay. This one goes out. We shall do a platform over here. Just for a second. Okay, and now you should be able to go and complete the, the roof over there as well. All right. And then this one. And that one as well. Okay, so that's pretty good. Are you able to reach this one? I think they are. Yeah, it seems to be at the right height. All right, so you're complaining that there's nothing to do in here. Okay, I guess next you can probably climb all the way up there. We'll just give you a few roads as well. Okay. There we go. That should be fixed very soon. We have not selected. Let's have a look. In this one... Hmm. I mean, if we are going to go for the advanced packing plant later on, then... Yeah, it's going to be nightmare going through all the buildings in here. Um, <laughs> let's do some maple pastries in this one for now. And I think the large one in here is actually going to do package full or... Yeah, let's set you up like so. Another thing that I just found out, thanks to Mikatron, instead of pressing this one here and leaving it on or off, you can actually use tab as well to quickly take a look where are the storehouses and what's in them. So that's, uh, yeah, that's very handy. Thank you so much, Mikatron, for pointing that one out. It's definitely going to make, uh, make it a bit easier. Okay, so we're almost done. Now, the next thing we do want to do, I think the power is already passing through, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. So the next step is just to complete the rest of the bridge over here as well. And right now, metal is fine. Let's have a look. How far are we now? Gears is almost full. Okay. Now, what we can do here, I think it's the treated planks that we do need to speed up. Yeah, we got tons of planks, but no treated planks at all. Okay, fine. Let's build a couple more. I think we still have enough power. All right, lowest priority for you for the time being. Oh no, actually, we might want to give you the highest priority. Otherwise, we'll be waiting for the treated planks forever. Okay, did you take any metal as well? Let's just double check. No. Okay, was there anything else we wanted to use this metal for? Uh, another thing we probably want to do is... I think we're going to get quite a few beavers injured in those, in those factories over there. So it would be, would be good if we had... I think it's under well-being. Yep, the healer... So let's unlock you as well. We had just barely enough science points. But I think for, for now, what do you take? Oh, five gears as well. Well, that's all right. Let's uh, place you over here. I think the same thing for you. Let's get it built pretty, well, as quick as we can, of course. Actually, no highest one for you. There we go. 
And then all we need over here is to collect some of the ingredients. Alright, there you go. And I think we're pretty much set now. Alright, beautiful. Just one roof left and then we are pretty much done. What would be cool as well, if Iron Teeth had slightly smaller houses that we could place maybe even here. But then again, this space is pretty, pretty crowded already, so I think, yeah, we're not going to do any more. Alright, so this space in here as well, I think, yeah, if we are going to place roofs on you, it is going to look pretty nice and make it seem like it's all connected. Yep, let's do it this way then. Now when it comes to decorations, yeah, the beaver statue takes quite a bit of metal and I think we're going to use it for some other things first. Alright, so flowers over here. And I guess we can do three. Yeah, and that looks pretty lovely actually. What we could also do is place a couple more platforms, let's see, on this side. Where are the small side ones? Okay, there we go. And then... Oh, not at the lower height. And then we could do another house over here. That is the... Is the smallest. We could even go lower, but then it just feels like the campfire is too close to the house and might be... It might be a bit of a fire hazard. Okay, but this one... Yeah, I think it will be fine over here. And now we have another... Wow, 41 bedrooms. Which means let's bring... Some of you beavers living on the hill now. Alright, another 11. Uh, yeah, let's do one more. Alright, there we go. And now pretty much everyone, except the beavers that are living in this house in here, everyone is already staying on top of this beautiful mountaintop residence that we have. Yeah, there's a couple more things that we do have to complete in here. Uh, if we enclose you... Oh... Let's see if we can actually give you a priority. Okay, there we go. Try and get this space cleared up for us. And then as soon as you're done, we can build the rooftop terrace as well so it won't look so empty anymore. Okay, pretty happy with this build so far. And as soon as the rubble is cleared up, we'll uh, move the district center over by a little bit as well. And then we can just double check how is stuff over here. I think we're fine now. But let's, uh, let's see in the morning. All right, there we go. Seven days left until the rainy season starts. And is someone going to clear it up? Yes, there we go. That means you can be on pause now as well. Let's get this built. Cool, so how is the mine doing? Hmm, 128, 377 gears already. That's actually pretty amazing. Okay, so everyone has moved over. Sorry, everything's been constructed. So, wow, that's a lot of warnings. We'll fix you right away. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh dear. It's also the farms that are a little too far, it seems. So that's the furthest we can go. Still gives us a pretty good range, so it might be fine. Yeah, I think... Hmm. I mean, this area here as well. We can bring all those lumberjacks a little bit closer. Well, actually, the trees are not going to be staying here at all. So that's fine. But the problem we still have is we don't have access to the log piles over here. And yeah, okay, so I guess there's a couple more buildings that we still have to move over before we relocate the district center itself. So yeah, I think we are going to leave it here for the time being. And create some temporary storages somewhere else. I mean, the closer they are to our base, the better. But we'll see. At least the healer is now up and running as well. We should do the same with you. Okay, you are going to need some resources. Ah, uh, never mind. I think someone's been gathering some already. Might be actually you over here. Yep, it does look like so. But okay, so I think we know our goal for the next episode. It is going to be pretty much delete most of the infrastructure that we do have in here. Clean this space up a little bit and I'm pretty confident that we can move the district center over in the next episode. But for now, we are going to cut the episode over here, so it's been quite fun building this area up. And uh, yeah, I think we're just going to keep going with the housing along the river over here. And yeah, create even more space for the beavers to live in. We still have quite a bit of space in here, so that's, uh, that's good. We can definitely make it a bit more fun. Something we do have to push out of our way very soon is, is everything that we built here on the other side of the river. 
So yeah, maybe you guys are gonna have to go a little further out for, for a little while. But other than that, this is definitely looking pretty nice already. So, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.